I use two on each tail. Now you have your eye in your line. We're using a 5 16 lead line. It's a sinking line. So then you do not need to use line weights. If you use the yellow poly pro, we have what we call a line weight. Stainless snap on it. If your line floats, then you just clip it on your line. The trick is, is uh, if you're in 100 feet of water and you're using 120 feet of line, is where do you put the line weight? Uh, you'd put it about 80 feet down. Okay. You can just clip that on here. That hooks your pot up. Now on the other end of your line, we're hooked up to a shrimp pot. We've got what we call a yellow buoy. All you required is the buoy. The stick assembly is optional but it's just easier that then when you come up alongside it in the boat you can grab the stick instead of leaning over to get the buoy. Um, the buoys that we manufacture have lead on the inside. I don't know if you can see that but that's so that the buoy will stand up straight in the water. A lot of people that make their own buoy assemblies we also manufacture the donut weight to where they clip it on the outside and tie it in and then that way it'll stand upright. You you really don't want to lay it down. It defeats the purpose. Okay. Personally on my own line I take a 5 16 washer and put in the eye and I stamp in the length of the line. Because a lot of times if I'm in uh, 100 feet of water but I want to crab it it, uh, and my lines are all 50 feet, I'll clip a couple of lines together to get the right length, but I can just read the washer. That tells me how long my lines are. Oh, now, if you're doing shrimp, yellow buoy, the stick is not required. If you're going to do crab, you want to do the red-white buoy, there again, the stick is not required. It's just more of an ease to be able to uh, pick it up out of the water. Personally, on my own line, I take a 5 16 washer and put in the eye, and I stamp in the length of the line. Because a lot of times, if I'm in uh, 100 feet of water, but I want to crab it, it uh, and my lines are all 50 feet, I'll clip a couple of lines together to get the right length, but I can just read the washer. That tells me how long my lines are. Now, if you're doing shrimp, Yellow buoy, the stick is not required. If you're going to do crab, you want to do the red-white buoy, there again, the stick is not required. It's just more of an ease to be able to uh, pick it up out of the water. How about the name on it? Does it have to be printed on anything? Or? Yeah, what you do is you take a felt pen, put your, your name on here first and last and address. That is a requirement by the state. Uh, you can also put on your phone number, which is optional. Um, it's a good idea, too. Someone finds your gear because you lost it or it drifted out because the pot wasn't heavy enough and the, the currents were big. I've had people call me up and say, hey, I found one of your pots. So it's not a bad idea.